It's a beautiful negative four Saturday. It's almost Valentine's Day. Oh, I forgot my watch. So it's uh, February 13th. If tomorrow is Valentine's Day, and like two seconds it took me to get from the door to my car. The hair is frozen, so that is great. But we don't care. It's Saturday. Um, today's lovely outfit is a vest from Walmart for like $12. This is Teach Create Motivate. It says choose happy. I'm always happy. And I have some ridiculous purple, pink tie-dye sweatpants on because fashion. Do we care what we look like? No. No, we don't. We are going to Target. We are going to TJ Maxx. We are going to Dunkin' Donuts. We'll get a little Starbucks at the Target. <sighs> Today's only things we actually need. We need a magic eraser because shocking, we're still cleaning the apartment and oh, there's news on that. And my boyfriend needs shampoo. Yeah, we don't actually need a lot of things at the store, but I'm sure I'll be buying things that are on my get list. So the apartment saga. Our dryer is broke. The heat part doesn't work, so you can still tumble it and it like takes all the lint, but it doesn't actually dry the clothes. So we usually tumble it for like 30 minutes and then we dry it on a drying rack, which is a really long process to do laundry. So obviously we've been trying to get that fixed. So they have a part on order for that. And uh, our fan, our ceiling fan in our bedroom area has always been broken for like probably about a year now. It just stopped working, uh, something in the motor. So. We, my boyfriend looked at it and like he knew that if we wanted it fixed, they'd have to take the entire ceiling fan thing out and replace it, which would like involve us having to like move the bed and stuff, which is a whole lot of work. So we haven't done it. But this week on Thursday, my boyfriend came home from work, turned the light on, and then he went to turn the light off and it would turn off. So there's something wrong in the electrical portion of the bedroom light where it doesn't sense that he's turning the light on and off. He opened up the panel and everything and tried to like tighten up the connectors, but it's something like within the actual light panel so every time we want to turn the light off we have to shut the circuit breaker off means that when we go to bed normally we like to watch tv and stuff with the light off um now you either watch tv with the light on or you go to bed in the dark with no electricity at all ah! and also that circuit breaker is the same one that controls the bathroom so someone can't be sleeping in the bedroom and be in the bathroom with the light on so you're like showering in the dark while the other person is sleeping <laughs> It's great. So yeah, we're trying to get that fixed, which means we're like really cleaning now. Cause even when people are coming over, if you know someone's not gonna be like in your bedroom area, you're not gonna like deep clean it. Well, basically if they're gonna be in the circuit breaker panel, that's the second bedroom. If they're gonna be in our bedroom, that's our bedroom. They're in the living room area to get the dryer out. And then yeah, that's like the entire apartment. It's like a 600 square foot apartment. There's not much room, but you know, we've lived here for five years. We've got a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna go to Dunkin' Donuts and I will see you guys later. In case you're wondering, I do wear gloves when it's cold out. I just don't wear a coat normally or a hat. So all the moms out there that are always harping on your children to wear hats and coats, I am one of them. But don't follow what my mom preaches. Hi, I'll get a large iced latte with the toasted coconut and then one sugar and one cream. All right. And then I'll do one thing of hash browns. You know that it is a good parking spot when you can see the sign. That's like three weeks in a row of a good parking spot at TJ Maxx. So this week, I think I only had like one day, maybe like Tuesday that I did something teaching related, but I did want to say that I tried so hard to do some filming on Valentine's Day and it didn't happen at all. Um, in the morning, I had a student who came in and I had some things for him to decorate his Valentine's Day box with. He had drawn on a fishing lure, like a Rapala. I think that's the brand, Rapala, I think that's it. And I had saw that and then I went home to my dad's and I was like hey do you have anything that he can use so he found him some stickers that he uses for like his rod building because he makes his own custom rods and he puts like these sticker things on it um like fancy stickers I don't know and then he had a bunch of lures that he took the hooks off of so the kid could glue them on his box so the morning of Valentine's Day I'm running around like a crazy person with my hot glue gun trying to hot glue this kid's Valentine's Day box together just perfectly where he wanted everything and then right after that, I'm into activities with kids and it was just nonstop until about 12. And then uh, that's when I start teaching my online virtual students. And obviously when they're virtual, you really can't have very many Valentine's Day fun, but I did, you know, pass all those little goodie bags to them um, after school. So, I mean, it was a fun day, but it was just so busy. And that's the thing about this year is I spend so much time cleaning and like putting things away that need to be like quarantined that I run out of the time to like have any spare time for myself. I'm trying to get you more classroom related content, but Sometimes it's just not happening. So let's go to the Max. Just kidding, this is what we have so far. Same size as last week. 
full tie-dye face mask, headband, and your rings. Okay, I showed you guys a little bit in the store what I got. So I got that container I was talking about. I got that headband. I got some masks in case I forget. I got this little kind of like a lazy Susan sort of thing that I'm gonna put my air humidifier on when I get home and I'll show you guys that. And then I got a little organizer that I'm gonna try to use to organize my earrings. And then I got one pair of shorts. That was the only clothes and I didn't get any makeup. Yay, Monica. I'm headed into Target. I'm parked at a different door than I normally am. So hopefully I remember that when it's time to come out. Shampoo, magic erasers. That's what we need. I accidentally dried this in the dryer instead of, you know, air drying it. And now it's just kind of wrinkled. So mostly nothing exciting. I got my magic erasers I needed. We needed some more toilet paper. I got this blue dress, which I have it in green for $10 on clearance. I'll also show a picture over here somewhere of everything I picked up too, if that's easier for you. And I always leave it down below in my link to know it. If you also want things like that too. And then I got another one of those tiered, I guess they're called like baby doll style or whatever. When they have that like ruffle on the bottom, it's just like a brownish whitish, not really a tie dye, but like a fade dip dye, that sort of thing. And this was also on clearance. And this was $14. And then I don't need swimsuits. It's negative four. We don't need swimsuits. But it's like tie-dye that's like metallic. There's 20% off clothes right now. So yeah, that was $14, but really 20% off. So we got that. I don't know if the clearance stuff is considered 20% off. At Walmart it wouldn't be, but Target has its own rules. And then, let's see what else. And then, you know that tie-dye dress I have? It's like bluish greenish. If you follow me, you saw it in the last week, I think. Um, they have the rainbow style in kids extra large that I can wear and the tag said $5. But when I scanned it, it was $3 for a rainbow dress. And then I got this headband for $3. We got the shampoo and I got Windex wipes too to make my uh, life easier because our windows are getting disgusting in Wisconsin because the windows freeze overnight then the sun comes through in the day and it starts melting and we get like mold in our windows and it's gross and that's just like a Wisconsin thing so it's like every single day you're cleaning like mold out of the window so crack it's gross so let's go home we'll make hello fresh later have a little snack but then we'll clean and clean and clean and maybe we'll edit maybe I have like three videos I need to edit it's a problem I'm slacking when I was in the store I just got a pink drink it's just being basic Okay, we're home. Time to get cleaning and organizing. <laughs> so here's the before of my nightstand. Uh, yeah, it needs a lot of work. So we've got our little humidifier. It's on that stand that I was talking about, and then it's just easier to clean underneath it. I'm gonna tuck these scrunchies, scrunchies, hair ties, lamp. Woo, we love it. So we have the crown type headbands and then we have like just the normal-ish headbands. Good. So perfect! If only they were the same, but I still kind of like it because they're both kind of holographic pretty. I also picked up these little rainbows, perfect for St. Patrick's Day or just any outfit in general because rainbows really match everything I wear. They were $7.99 and they're the CNC California brand. I can't remember if I showed you guys. So we've got my crown style headbands, normal headbands, bracelets are up here, which is still somewhat a mess. And then my sunglasses are all right here. So when it's nice out, I can actually pull them out. And then right here we have my earrings. Most of my earrings are actually at my parents' house. Um, I'm gonna bring them over here and uh, do like hearts, rainbows, mermaid, um, nothing, so something, Harry Potter stuff like holiday related earrings and then just yeah whatever i've got a lot because i have a lot of my parents hello hello it is a sunday trying out my tie dye mask i got from tj maxx it's such a great deal for 25 for five dollars um i really like them they're just like the blue ones that walmart gives out for free but here's something i was working on today that i'm super proud of because it looks amazing 
St. Patrick's Day, out with the Valentine's Day, and in with the St. Patrick's. And we have Easter candy here, so I need to get some stuff. So there's candy inside of these, but they're also like little dinosaurs. So I'm just getting one of each for each color. They're out of the treats that Cheyenne likes. She's not gonna be happy. It's so cold that I keep my mask on while I'm in the car because my face just feels warmer with it on. I'm gonna run to Dunkin' Donuts really quick, even though it's like 10 minutes out of my way. I really don't need coffee, but I want coffee and I want to put a video up when I have it edited. I just need to put it up and it's like a two hour process basically because the internet in my apartment is so slow. So I'm gonna reward myself for putting a video up by getting some Dunkin' Donuts and maybe they'll have those heart donuts left. I mean, it's Valentine's Day, so they probably don't have the heart donuts, but if they do, I'll do a cute picture. And if not, oh well, I'll still have coffee and a donut to eat. So actually in the video I was editing that's gonna go up when I get home, I was talking about just the different variations that Dunkin' has. Where it's like, if you go to Starbucks, your drink pretty much always tastes the same, but Dunkin' is just like, it's never this white and you know what is that stripe i don't know there's a whole lot of sugar on the bottom and i always love that still good but they had the heart donuts i got the brownie filled one which is wonderful brownie filled donuts is everything that i could ever ask for in life and then i got the macchiato one that has the pink velvet in it because we're gonna go home and take a little picture because i do have a valentine's day shirt on it's just covered with my sweater because it's freezing outside